Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. I'm a pharmacist and I own 52 units of real estate. So today I want to talk about habit stacking. So for me, I've learned that you cannot build two or three habits at a time. You have to build habits one at a time until that habit is automated, at which point you can stack on another habit. So I want to share how I kind of applied this to my life throughout my career, throughout my real estate, and throughout everything I've done to see how you can apply it. So if you try to build two new habits at one time, so oftentimes it leads you to getting zero habits. It's just like if you chase two rabbits, you'll get none versus you just chase one rabbit, you might be guaranteed to get one. So for example, for me, when I first was in pharmacy school, I was focused on just building the habit of learning how to be a pharmacist. And when I graduated, my next step was I wanted to learn how to be a pharmacist to function in the actual real world, right? Whether that's in the hospital, whether that's at a CVS or Walgreens. So in the beginning, it's always hard to build a new habit and it takes on average about 60 days of consistency in order to build a new habit. So for me, in pharmacy, it takes about six months to acclimate to a, a new work environment, to a new setting, uh, typically. So it's just getting that six month window out of the way. And once you've done the six months there, things will get easier, things will become more automatic because your brain is always trying to find ways to save energy. And a great way to save energy is by automating habits and routines. And what's kind of crazy is I think 95% or 97% of your thoughts are automated and programmed to be the same way. So that's why they say by success is a lot of mindset. So for me, after becoming a pharmacist, after six months, it gets easier, right? The first six months is always hard, big learning curve, learning new faces, new systems, new people, trying to, everyone's hyper aware of you because you're new, but after six months, You've seen the system, you've met most of the people, you know what to expect in your day-to-day, -day, you know the personalities, you know the workflow. So it gets easier and over time, so you know after the next six months it gets e easier, the next month after that it gets easier. And this is why a lot of people get complacent in the W-2 is because they've just been there for so long and they don't really have any motivation to go above and beyond what they're already doing, right? They're just comfortable doing what they're doing because it's automated. So if you were to take that concept, so I've, I, after about you know, six months at the job, I said, okay, not, less of my brain energy is being allocated towards this, so what can I do now? And that's when I started learning about how to invest in like a 401k. And for me, it was just like, you know what? I don't wanna pick stocks. I tried picking stocks and lost like, you know, 2000 bucks and I just said, you know what? I don't have the time nor the energy nor the willpower to research stocks. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a crapshoot. Like it's just hit or miss. So for me, I just learned, okay, let's just get low cost index funds through Vanguard that track the total US stock market or track the S&P 500, whatever that is. So now that I do that, my investing strategy for stocks is automated and very little energy for me. I just know I'm gonna pick a low cost index fund like Vanguard VT Sachs. That's a total US stock market. The expense ratio is 0.04%, which is very little. And that's about, I think 60% of my allocation. I would do the total international stock market at 25% of my allocation and a total bond market of 5% of my allocation because I'm, I'm still young. So. For me, that's my strategy, so I don't spend much energy and effort when I'm signing up for a new 401k because I just know, okay, it doesn't matter if it's Fidelity, T. Rowe Price, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, whatever. I just find the low-cost index funds that track the whole U.S. stock market, the one that tracks the international stock market, and the one that tracks the total bond market. So it's automated. So now that's done, I don't have to spend much brain power to do that anymore. So my next step up was when I became from a pharmacist to pharmacy director. And once again, huge learning curve because they don't teach you how to be a pharmacy leader in school nor in the hospital. So the first six months, I'm just spent acclimating to things. 
learning laws, learning regulations, learning hospital policies, learning how to deal with employees and people. So the first six months, once again, really difficult. But after that, after you've done it for six months, you get used to it and you know what to expect. And it starts to become routine and automated. At that point, I just said, okay, what's the next skill that I could learn? So my next skill was I wanted to buy a house and house hack. So I learned how to, you know, I saved up for a down payment. I went through the loan process. I went through the escrow process. I closed on the property. I advertised my rooms on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. And, and I learned, right? It's a, it's a learning curve in the beginning. Obviously, like with each tenant that I, I got, I got better and better. My first tenant didn't really know as much. Second tenant, I was a little better. Third tenant, even better. Fourth tenant, even better. And so on. So now I, I've house hacked one time. When I house hacked the second property, I was just like, oh, I already know what to do. I've done it before. I've bought a house before. I saved it for the down payment. I got the loan, used the same loan officer. I lived in the master bedroom. I used Facebook Marketplace to rent out the rooms. I used the same insurance broker. So it's easier. It gets easier and easier. And once I mastered that, I just said, okay, what's my next step? And my next step was to buy out of state real estate. So, you know, vetted couple of uh, property managers in Huntsville, Alabama and realtors and they present me a deal for 260k that can rent out for about 2000 bucks so that's close to the 1% rule and you know back then interest rates were low at 3.5% and I just ran the numbers and figured after all fees and expenses I would cash flow about maybe 600 to 700 bucks a month assuming no major repairs and expense and yeah, I just said, okay, well, I did it one time. And the next thing I said, that wasn't that hard. So my next thing was multifamily real estate. And once again, I, I, that one I was afraid of, but I, I joined a mentorship program. And because I you know, was under the guidance of somebody that bought a lot of multifamily real estate, then it made me feel more comfortable that I just could follow what they're doing, follow a proven path, follow a proven system, execute that system, and eventually I got my own deals. Right. That's why I'm really big on mentorship. That's why I have my own mentorship where I help others buy their first multifamily deal. So if you're interested in joining the mentorship program, check out the link down below. But it was hard in the beginning, right? Because I had to buy the, I had to find the deal off market. You know, to set up my direct mailing campaign to get off market deals, negotiate with owners, talk to commercial lenders, talk to commercial insurance agents. Talk to property managers, talk to general contractors. I got to renovate these units. I got to asset manage. So, you know, once again, the, the first six months was, was a huge learning curve. And after I got comfortable with that, I jumped into a mobile home park and restarted over again. And it took me another six months to learn. And apparently I didn't learn enough because I, I lost money in the mobile home park deal. Check out the video on that. But it got easier. And when I bought my second apartment, I knew exactly what to expect, right? I knew exactly what lender to use what insurance agent to use, how to underwrite the deal realistically, how to renovate the property, how to vet the property manager, how to get the general contractor. It, so it got easier. So like now if I continue doing what I'm doing, it, it, it'll be easy for me. If I wanna buy another house hack single family home in California, I know what to do. If I want to buy another new build construction in Huntsville, Alabama, I know what to do. If I wanna buy another apartment complex in Oklahoma, I know what to do. It's not new for me. It's not a new learning curve for me. I've been there, done that. So I would know at least 80 to, you know, probably 80% of it. And there might be that new 20% that, that might be new, but I could probably learn it within reason. So this is the power of, you know, stacking one habit at a time. And it, it, it compounds over the years. So I built the habit of learning how to be a pharmacist, you know, getting, being going to pharmacy school, learning that, being coming a pharmacist, becoming a pharmacy director, buying my first house hack, buying my out of state rental, buying multifamily, buying mobile home park. It just one at a time that I was focusing in on. But when it starts to stack, that's when your skills improve because now these skills are still with me today. I didn't lose these skills, right? And now I'm trying to get better with like, you know, social media and creating content and speaking and all that. Right, and it's a learning curve, but if you just slowly improve over time, that's how you get better. So really, it, it, just focus on you know one habit and being consistent with that habit for six months, and eventually that habit will be automated. 
so that you don't even think about it anymore. So like a habit I'm trying to build now is to get back into a workout routine. And maybe I need to buy a gym membership or if my HOA gym opens up finally, I can go there. So I'm trying to get a habit where I work out three or four times a week and right after I work out, I'm gonna go use my sauna box that I bought. So to make it a habit, and I know I have to do that for at least two months consistently in order for that to, to see an effect. So, you know, you know, habits are one at a time. And just focus on one, go 100% for six months, and then once you've mastered that habit, then do another one, and then do another one. And that's how a lot of successful people did it, right? If you look at, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he started off as a football player, then went to WWE, then he became a movie star, and now he owns like a billion dollar tequila brand. So he just slowly stacked skill, 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 and it just builds up over time. So, you know, hopefully you found value from this video. Let me know any questions. Once again, if you're interested in joining the mentorship program, please check out the link down below. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much.